Mug? Yes, sir. Tuesday afternoon at 5. And now here's a look at tomorrow tonight. Those Orange fans planning to go to the Sugar Bowl will be rising early. That's because tickets for the bowl go on sale tomorrow morning at the Carrier Dome. The gate opens at 8, sales begin at 9. There are 6,000 tickets available for Orange Pack members and alumni. Sales to the general public start December 2nd. Also tomorrow, a Christmas tradition at the Veterans Medical Center in Mattydale. Patients will be able to select free gifts for their family members. The American Legion Auxiliary will then wrap them and mail them in time for the holiday. And speaking of Christmas, the Mattydale sports Arama will be the site of a Christmas party for more than 800 underprivileged children. The party is sponsored by Telephone Pioneers of Donald. Like when we rise and shine. Let's get right to it around the nation tomorrow. This is what it'll look like. Partly cloudy in Atlanta at 51. Houston will see some sunshine in 61. Watch that storm system out in the northwest. See what that does to us in, later on in the week. For tomorrow morning, you rise and shine. Partly cloudy and cold temperature around 35. All right. Thanks, Rick. Well, we've got a festive way to end the show in tonight's nightcap. In Pasadena, California, 150,000 people turned out for the Duda Parade, a lighthearted spoof of the city's Rose Parade. Members of the synchronized briefcase drill team were joined by the flasher drill team, uh, who offered candy to little girls in the crowd before Rip open their coats to reveal their underclothes. This year, the Duda Parade included the first annual Tournament of Hoses. The queen and her court waved to the crowd with gardening gloved hands while towing a wagon carrying a coiled garden hose. And I guess that's only in California, right, Tim? <laughs> that's what's happening tonight and what you can expect tomorrow. Make it a good one. Stay tuned now for the Great Alaska Shootout Championship game. Thanks for joining us. Good night. When it's SU Sports you're looking for, we've got Orange Fever on Central New York 9. Doug Logan, the voice of the Orange, brings you the number one ranked SU basketball team in the Great Alaska Shootout. Nine Sports Magazine follows the Orange throughout the season. Plus, daily reports on Nine Eyewitness News. And nothing could be sweeter than Dick McPherson and his Orange football squad playing in the Sugar Bowl on New Year's Day. Syracuse University basketball and football on WIXC Central New York 9. Ask for much? A couple of books? Maybe an electronic keyboard with auto rhythms. I want lots of things. You got a few minutes? Like I want a cable ready VCR with 14 day time. I don't want anything, but I need a complete stereo rack system from Silo. Silo's holiday kickoff sale for anyone who's outgrown toys. I want to be much you are about to see the best mid-size car you can buy. It happens to be the one with the highest standard mileage of any mid-size in America. It happens to be the one with the longest warranty of any mid-size in America. It happens to be the one with the best value of any mid-size in America. And it happens to be the one with the lowest price of any mid-size in America. It happens to be the new 1988 Dodge Aries America. The best mid-size car you can buy. The ball back, but now Illinois State... WIXT Central New York 9, your Sugar Bowl station. The following is a special presentation of WIXT 9. Saturday afternoon, the Syracuse Orangemen made short work of the University of Alabama Birmingham. Point guard Sherman Douglas igniting the Orange with five steals and 24 points. But big man Ronnie Sykley wants more to do. He's had some big defensive plays during tournament action, but he wants more chances to put some points on the board. His teammates will need all the help he can offer tonight as the Orange meet the explosive Arizona Wildcats for the championship of the 10th annual Great Alaska Shootout. Channel 9's coverage of the Great Alaska Shootout is brought to you in part by True Value Hardware Stores. It's more than the name, it's our way of doing business. Your upstate Toyota dealers, ride with the best. The 9X Yellow Pages, if it's out there, it's in here. By Marine Midland Bank, let's work it out together. And by Genesee Beer, boy, could I go for a Jenny now.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Late Night with UConn Jim Beheim. I'm Tim Fox as we head toward the championship game of the Great Alaska Shootout. Doug Logan and Mike Barlow are standing by in Sullivan Arena in Anchorage, Alaska to bring you all the action of tonight's game between the number three Syracuse Orangemen, two and one on the year, and the surprising number nine team in the nation, Arizona. Winners over Michigan in the semifinals on Saturday. The Wildcats are 2-0 and on the year and pose quite a threat to the Syracuse Orangemen. Doug and uh, Mike, as I said, are standing by at Sullivan Arena. We'll be checking in with them in just a moment. You're watching Syracuse University Basketball, the Great Alaska Shootout, here on WIXT 9. <laughs> Welcome to Johnny's Open Hearth, Syracuse's first New York-style steakhouse. Johnny's Open Hearth specializes in choice cuts of steaks and chops cooked to perfection. Linger at the clam bar and enjoy shrimp or oysters and clams on the half shell. Johnny's Open Hearth, a unique atmosphere for the whole family to enjoy. Open seven days a week. Johnny's Open Hearth, Gary Boulevard East, next to Grimaldi's. Syracuse against Arizona, and it uh, seems like it's going to be a heck of a matchup. Standing by in Sullivan Arena in Anchorage, Alaska, are the men who bring you the color and play-by-play -play of tonight's game, our own Doug Logan and his radio partner, Mike Barlow. Gentlemen. Thank you, Tim. Well, Mike, the Syracuse Orangemen have been able to persevere despite 26 inches of snow and a 7.5 Richter scale earthquake, but can they handle the Arizona Wildcats? They're going to have their work cut out for them tonight. This is a very experienced Wildcat ball club. They've got great inside strength and Cook, and they've got a fellow that can hit from the outside in Elliott. You've got Kerr that can handle the ball and shoot from the outside. They like to press. This is going to be a very exciting contest. Uh, Syracuse head basketball coach Jim Beheim feels that Arizona is playing the best basketball they are capable of playing all year long, and they're doing it just two games into the season. Will they look to press Syracuse? This is a club that likes to employ three styles of press. It'll be very interesting. I think it could go in Syracuse's favor if they would come out and put some pressure on, and I say that because it would allow Ronnie Cycli and Coleman to operate down low one-on-one. -on -one. Sean Elliott talks big on the basketball court. He's averaging about 20 points per game. He spoke big in the newspapers, too, saying he felt Ronnie Cycli was suspect and that Arizona's front line will dominate Syracuse's front line of Cycli and Coleman. Well, this may be what Syracuse needs to really wake up the inside game. They've got to get some scoring from the outside, and they've got to continue to improve with their defense. An earthquake earlier today, a tremor for sure here at the arena as we have the championship game coming up, Syracuse versus Arizona in the 1987 Great Alaska Shootout. Tim? Thanks, guys. We're looking forward to the game. One score we want to bring you if you just tuned in uh, at the half in the NFL Monday Night Football game. The L.A. Raiders behind a big game for Bo Jackson. 27, Seattle 7. That's early in the third period. The ratings that came out, AP top 20 this afternoon. Syracuse checking in at number three on the year behind North Carolina, the team that beat Syracuse in the tip-off classic in the opening game. And number two, Kentucky. Then Syracuse, Pittsburgh, and Indiana. Arizona checks in at ninth place, taking the place of the team they defeated in somewhat of a surprise over the weekend in the second round of the Great Alaska Shootout, Michigan. Michigan dropping from number nine down to 15. Arizona, the Wildcats, 2-0 and on the year out of the Pac-10. Lute Olson, the head coach of the team. They've got wins over Duquesne, 133-78, to a 55-point victory in the first game in this great Alaska shootout. Michigan, as we said, a 15-point win, 79-64 over Michigan on Saturday. Last year, Arizona went 18-12, and made it to the second round of the NCAA tournament. It's the first meeting ever between Syracuse and Michigan, or Arizona tonight. And uh, leading the way, as Doug and Mike told you, for the uh, Wildcats, Sean Elliott, forward a junior six foot eight he's averaging 20 points a game tom talbert the senior center six foot seven averaging about 21 points a game Run, rounding out their normal starting uh lineup anthony cook at forward a junior six nine averaging 12 points a game averaging 13 points a game the senior at six foot three steve kerr at guard and the other three point uh threat craig mcmillan the other guard senior six foot six nine points per game at the half today here in the studio in Syracuse, we'll be talking with the former career assist leader at Syracuse University, Eddie Moss, a man who has spanned the eras from the Louie and Bowie show right on through to Routens, Santafer, and Bruin. 
He coached uh, Dwayne the Pearl Washington and a number of the players on the team this year, Sherman Douglas and Dwayne, or, uh, Derek Brower. We'll talk with Eddie Moss on uh, his comments on the first half, and uh, he'll bring us up to date on what's going on in the life of a man who's made Syracuse his home, Ed Moss. We're waiting the uh, opening tip-off, Syracuse against Arizona, and we'll have the opening tip-off for you right after these messages. You're watching Syracuse University Basketball, the Great Alaska Shootout, here on WIXT 9. Freshest deli meats and the finest cheeses to top slow cooked right in the store roast beef. Top's New York Deli has the freshness and quality I want. I love Top's Deli. It's so New York. Top's never stops saving you more. Top's never stops. The brain has two sides: an emotional right and a logical left. The left side knows the Saab 900 is practical. The right side doesn't care. The left side sees safety in Saab's high performance. The right side doesn't care. The left side admires the 56 cubic feet of cargo space. The right side doesn't care. Why not bring both sides of your brain for a test drive in the Saab 900? Come to Sports Car Center Limited, 5800 Bridge Street, East Syracuse. Somewhat odd starting time for tonight's ball game, 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now on Saturday, we had a 2 o'clock start, but that means they had to take the court at 10 o'clock Alaska time, four hours difference. Tonight, it's a 7 o'clock start in Sullivan Arena in Anchorage, Alaska. That's why we're starting at 11 o'clock. Syracuse, 2-1 and one on the year. They will uh, hit a plane as soon as the game is over tonight and uh, make their way back to Syracuse, expected back at Hancock Field somewhere around 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. Syracuse uh, will then... Uh, presumably go to bed for a little while. Their next game, the Carrier Classic, coming up this Friday and Saturday in the first round, Syracuse facing Oklahoma State. One programming note we want to make note of, the Syracuse Orangemen football team headed for the Sugar Bowl, where they'll be playing the Auburn Tigers, and we'll have complete Sugar Bowl coverage live from New Orleans, New Orleans throughout the week leading up to New Year's Day and the matchup between the Orange and the Tigers, including a special edition of the Nine Sports Magazine, How Sweet It Is, coming up Wednesday, December the 30th at 8 o'clock, live from New Orleans here on WYXT, Central New York 9. As I said at the half, we'll be talking with Eddie Moss here in the studio. We'll also have a very interesting interview between Doug Logan and the captain of the Orange, number four, Ronnie Sykley. That's coming up at the half. Right now, we are going to make our way to Anchorage, Alaska, Sullivan Arena, where Mike Barlow and our own Doug Logan are standing by to bring you all the action of tonight's game between Syracuse and Arizona. of drivers are heading for wheels. The discount automotive supermarket that's supercharged with savings at every turn. Super staff with the Wheels Auto Pro to steer you in the right direction. So why roll up big repair bills when it's so easy to roll on into wheels? Just can't get along without my wheels. The actual story of a man who did something about his hair loss problem. I was always afraid of how people would react to a new head of hair. So I replaced a little bit at a time with gradual hair replacement from HRS. Every few months, a little more hair was added, little by little, so no one would ever know. Now I have a full head of hair that people think has actually grown back. I won't tell. <laughs> would you? Call HRS today for a free brochure. Call now. Operators are waiting. Sports car in the world that gives you the superior traction of front wheel drive, a competition suspension, and an unbeatable 770 protection plan. Then look no further. It's got to be the intercooled, turbocharged Dodge Daytona Shelby Z. It's got to be. It's got to be a Dodge. Belongs 
the shower massage by Teledyne Water Pit. Oh. Now, during Ford's Leadership Celebration, get a $600 cash bonus on Taurus. Thank you, gentlemen. It is a six-point lead at the half. Arizona surprising Syracuse. Arizona ranked ninth in the nation. Syracuse ranked third. Welcome to the Hartford Halftime Report. Okay, a game you saw earlier here on ESPN. Illinois State was facing Purdue. This is a rematch of last year's game where Purdue won it by... 52 points, so Illinois State coming into this game hoping for some semblance of revenge. Troy Lewis with the alley-oop pass to Everett Stevens, though, looked like the Boilermakers would pummel the Redbirds. They led by six and a half. Second half, Illinois State senior guard Jeff Harris hit three consecutive three-pointers. The Redbirds up by as many as seven. Later, Harris with a nice dish. Watch this as he drives. This is off to Gerard Coleman. Coleman is all alone for the jam. 55-50 Redbirds, but Purdue comes back. Todd Mitchell to the sophomore. Steve Scheffler, who keys the comeback alone in the paint, jams it down, and later, Stevens again penetrates this time, finds his way through, and gets it to go. They're up by three, and Purdue goes on to the 68-61 to win. Purdue has dropped to the 11th team in the nation, but they do pick up the win. However, as we've told you, one of the top teams in the country, and Purdue coach Gene Cady talked about what it's like being one of the top-ranked teams in the nation. I think we're like a lot of teams. Uh, we're probably overrated right now. We don't have two of our people back that should be playing right now. They won't be ready till the second semester. But we can't worry about that. We just got to play. So, you know, you can put 30 teams out there, and they could all be deserving of number one to five probably on different nights. So it really looks like a great year for basketball, as you said. Purdue a winner over Illinois State. Running down some more scores, a Duke, the 13th ranked team in the nation, faced East Carolina and gets an easy win, 94 to 45. Kevin Strickland and Greg Kubek each had 14 points apiece. Duke has really rolled early on this season. South Carolina and George Washington. South Carolina, the Gamecocks get the win, 81 to 77. The final. Terry Dozier, another one of those guys out of Dunbar High, one of the poets, had 20 points for the Gamecocks. USC and Virginia Tech. 101 to 73 is the final. USC picks up the win. Bimbo Coles and Wally Lancaster combined for 49 points apiece as they go on to the easy victory. Jeff Robinson nailed four three throws in the last 15 seconds as Wake Forest loses this one to Siena. 72 to 67 is that final. Eckerd and Jacksonville, an easy win for Jacksonville, 82 to 57. Troy Mundine, a career high 22 points in this one. We want to look at a National Football League score for you. The Los Angeles Rams coming into this game had lost seven consecutive games. Seattle is fighting for first place. Had they won this game, they'd be tied. It's in the fourth quarter. They're losing it 37 to 14. However, the big story is Bo Jackson, well over 200 yards in this game. And it's in the fourth quarter. He has a shot at the all-time record of 275, which of course is held by Walter Payton of the Chicago Bears. The Raiders leading the Seahawks big at this one. We'll continue with more of our Hartford Halftime Report in just a moment. So stay with us. Your score at half Time. The Syracuse Orangemen trail Arizona by six. Stay with us. A smart do-it-yourselfer's game plan includes a run to a True Value hardware store where extra security can be found in a fire-resistant Sentry safe. Protect important records and keepsakes in the Sentry Fire Safe Security Chest for $28.88. Or choose the larger value guard safe with a combination lock for $139.88. You can rest assured when your most prized possessions are kept in a Sentry safe. Available at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. If you have teenagers, I'm asking you to have a very difficult talk with them. Not about sex. For a lot of us, that would be easy compared to drugs. Drugs like cocaine and crack. But you must talk to them about drugs. If you don't talk about it, if you don't fight it, why should they? The idea of your kids using cocaine or crack ought to scare you to death. So please, learn about it and talk about it. Today you need an insurance company with a firm financial footing, a company with staying power, 
an intelligence to see you through year after year, a company with experience you can count on. You need the Hartford, the insurance people of ITT. When you need us most, we're at our best. That's the Hartford difference. Hey, how do you like your Ranger? Great. How about your Toyota? Nice. Yeah, I checked that Toyota before I got this. Oh, yeah? Why'd you go for the Ford? Ranger had more features and a lower sticker price. You're kidding. What features? Well, a fuel-injected engine, tachometer, and interval wipers, P215 all-season radials, and a six-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. All that. Yep, and still priced less than Toyota. Ah. You order, please. Uh, what did he order? Now get $500 cash bonus on all new Ford Rangers. This halftime report brought to you by the Hartford, the insurance people of ITT. When you need us most, we're at our best. Arizona leads Syracuse at the half, and we'll go back to the Great Alaska Shootout in just a moment. You know, the lure of college basketball has plenty of great bonuses along with it take advantage trips to many parts of the country like the 49th and 50th states. Now if you were to ask most college students, most would probably like to go to the warmer climes in November. So with that in mind, we decided to follow around Mark Plansky of Villanova in Hawaii at the Maui Classic and Steve Kerr of Arizona at the Great Alaska Shootout. Bob Lee has their story. Both states have a measure of the exotic to those of us in the lower 48. Alaska's image is the last frontier, an outpost of adventurism and individualism where, for the last decade, basketball folk have convened each November in Anchorage. Hawaii has long been a favorite port of call for hoops and otherwise. The 50th state is a real-life postcard and, yes, a popular early season dateline for college basketball. We spent a day here with Mark Plansky of Villanova and with Steve Kerr bundled up with his Arizona Wildcats in Anchorage. We came here Sunday night and we're not playing on Friday. I hope so we can get our team a little closer together so we can do some off the court things together. And we have been, we've enjoyed it. And most of us rented mopeds and try to cover as much of the island as possible. We also did a lot of snorkeling right by our hotel, which is really unbelievable. We don't get to do a whole lot on road trips simply because we're here to play basketball. Uh, we were supposed to see the glacier last time. We never got a chance to do it because of, of a conflict and, and I'd like to do that this time. Plansky is no stranger to Hawaii. This is his second trip with the Wildcats, so he knew how to budget his time. Bring the sticks and hit the links. And then, as Dick Vitale might say, some BT beach time. And find the time to accommodate the members of the press. Up north, Kerr deals with the elements that he's never seen in his native Arizona. Well, uh, none of us have any warm clothes coming from Tucson, so we, we sort of bring a whole lot of the clothes that we have and just sort of pile them on. We just bought short sleeve shirts and shorts and uh, flip-flops for the beach. If Steve Stay went to the dogs, well, at least it was a real trip. The only canine that Mark saw was courtside. That spuds is everywhere. And so was Mark. Now, maybe Steve didn't work on his tan, but he did spiff up the wardrobe. We're having a great time. One of, the, one of the best things about the Alaska shootout is the gifts that each player receives. And this year, each player receives a $6,000 fur coat. So it's, it's nice for all the players up here. Keep in mind, Steve was only joking. No $6,000 fur coat. Mark Plansky's Wildcats, Villanova lost to Iowa in the final of the Maui Classic. Steve Kerr's Wildcats, of course, well, they have the lead at halftime as we continue. They lead the Syracuse Orangemen by six. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment with the second half. During Ford's Leadership Celebration, get a cash bonus of up to $600 on the cars that are winning the world over. Combine your cash bonus with an option package discount and save over $1,600 on Thunderbird, $1,200 on America's design leader, Taurus, and over $1,100 on the world's best-selling car, Escort. Winning the world over. Have you driven a Ford lately? Hi. Hi. We're almond growers. Now is the perfect time of year to have or attend an almond roast. 
We've put everything you'll need right here in this handy almond roast kit. That's right. That's right. This kit is so complete, the almonds are already roasted. Yay! The forks are not included. No. Blue Diamond Almonds, roasted and seven other great tastes. Don't you wish you had some right now? We, we, we wish you had some right now. A can a week, that's all we ask. Announcing a dramatic breakthrough in shaving technology. The new Remington Microscreen Ultimate shaves as close as a blade and closer than any other electric shaver or your money back. The Ultimate's exclusive beard lifter gets whiskers other shavers leave behind. And like all Remington Microscreen shavers, the first screen shaves incredibly close, the second even closer. Try the new Remington Ultimate now. It will shave you as close as a blade and closer than any other electric shaver or your money back. When Bill Demby was in Vietnam, he dreamed of coming home and playing a little basketball. A dream that all but died when he lost both legs to a Viet Cong rocket. But then researchers discovered that a DuPont plastic could help make truly lifelike artificial limbs. Now Bill's back, and some say he hasn't lost a step. At DuPont, we make the things that make a difference. Better things for better living. It's television's only official weekly pro basketball report. Follow the Lakers' attempt at a second straight title and the teams who could shoot them down on the NBA Today, every Tuesday on ESPN. Before we go back out to Alaska, let us update you one more time on the National Football League score from Seattle. The Los Angeles Raiders have done it. They have stopped a seven-game losing streak, 37-14. to They win Bo Jackson well over 200 yards in the game. Let us go back to the Great Alaska Shootout to John Sanders and Dick Vitale. A great final for the finish of the 1987 Great Alaska Shootout, a six-point lead for Arizona. I'm John Sanders with Dick Vitale. I think this is the way college basketball today is meant to be played. We've had great outside play and some good inside play. How about Matt Rowe coming off the bench for Syracuse? John, he did a great job shooting the three-point shot. He made four of them. We take a look at it right now. Look at Rowe spotting up on a right-hand side of your screen. He's going to catch the ball from Douglas, and he's going to drill it. He hit three in a row at one sequence and he hit a total of four for the entire first half to lead Syracuse with 12 points. But he was not the only one. Watch the ball movement here. It winds up with McMillan. Well, a great pass by Steve Carr after receiving the pass from Elliott and McMillan squares up his body and it's good night, baby. Nothing but net. McMillan also had a dozen points in that first half, but I said good inside play. Keep your eye on Sean Elliott. He's a tremendous one-on-one -on -one player. We take a look at Elliott right now in the lane. He's got all the moves. He can shoot the jump shot. He's a great passer. Hey, John, there was a whole lot of shaking going on here today with that earthquake. But there's a whole lot of shaking going on the floor here. What a great game. Syracuse must rebound better if they're going to try to get out of here with the win. Ronnie Sykely had 10 points in the first half. But how about the play of Joe Turner off the bench for the Arizona? He was dynamite. He came in for Tom Tolbert, did a tremendous job, scored 10 points, and he was very active on the interior. When you could bring a Turner and a Lofton off the bench, you have every reason, if you're an Arizona fan, to be so proud. They're going to have a great, great season this year. It is the Wildcats by six at halftime. A lot more basketball to go from the Great Alaska Shootout. Today, you need an insurance company that looks out for you year after year. A company with experience, measured in centuries instead of years. A company with a firm financial footing. You need the Hartford, the insurance people of ITT. When you need us most, we're at our best. That's the Hartford difference. There are two places on Earth where you're likely to find the world's most spectacular reds. Watching the Queen's Guard and right in here on Kodakolor VRG 200 film. And now, Kodak is proud to present the world's most thrilling blues. Right in here on our sharpest 400 speed film ever. Introducing Kodakolor VRG 400 film. When your sore throat is slow torture, chloroseptic spray is fast relief. How fast? So fast, she'll feel relief even before we can finish this commercial.
just in time, American Express introduces purchase protection. It ensures almost any retail item you buy with the card for a full 90 days in case it's accidentally damaged, stolen, or simply flies away. You don't buy this protection. It comes automatically only with the American Express card. Membership has its privileges. Conica Tough. Conica's royal copiers are tough. Reliability and dependability have earned them a tough reputation. Conica's royal copiers, the right choice for tough jobs. There is a town where the assembly line mentality does not exist. Where craftsmanship is revered. Where precision is a way of life. A town where the largest occupation is that of car maker. The town is Kalmar, Sweden. The only place in the world where this car could be built. The new Volvo 760 going to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Hong Kong. Free. 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 I hate her. No frequent flyer program gives you Asia faster. Uh, the money that you spent on calls to your mother last month, you, you could have gone to visit her. Okay, dear. I'll leave tomorrow. Northwest can fly you to your mom, your aunt, or distant cousins at fares that can make flying cheaper than talking. Son, I figured when you were old enough, I'd talk to you about drugs. I'd tell you they're nothing but poison. I'd tell you to stay away from the garbage that pushes that junk. Only I never figured that I ought to be telling that to a 13-year-old. If you don't teach your kids to say no to drugs, it's as good as saying yes. Hey, I didn't know this. Atlanta's talking trade again. Hey, did you see who just walked out of camp? Yeah, and what about all these high-salaried guys on the DL? For my money, the sporting news is the only way. To get the whole story every week. Are you getting shortchanged on your sports news? Then start getting complete, in-depth coverage, up-to-the-minute news and stats, hard-hitting inside stories of football, baseball, basketball, hockey, and more. Everything you need to know every week in the sporting news. Yes, get in on all the action and get in on this great half-price offer from the Sporting News. Here's how. Take this tip and get in on this great half-price offer. Just call 1-800-248-5400. That's 1-800-248-5400 and receive 40 issues of the Sporting News for four easy payments of only $5.45. That's a savings of one half of the regular subscription rate. You can't beat that price any place. So call now, 1-800-248-5400. That's 1-800-248-5400. <laughs> occupation is that of car maker. The town is Kalmar, Sweden. The only place in the world where this car could be built. The new Volvo 
760. Now that Kmart has a sale on men's Wrangler 915 stone wash jeans and colorful men's sweaters, finding the perfect Christmas gift for Dad could be the easiest part.